hi everyone i am shrivani in this video i am going to explain about how we can create the action skill by using the watson assistant as we all know we use ibm watson assistant to build a virtual chatbot that will take the natural language request from user and provide appropriate response as we all know under resource list we can find the watson assistant instance on ibm cloud let's launch watson assistant watson assistant we do have a classic experience and new experience uh, most of the times in the previous videos i have used to the classic experience and used to dialogue skill in this video i am going to show you action skill in the new experience so uh, ibm has changed to watson assistant in the name of watson x assistant here we are seeing the new experience of the watson x assistant click on create new in this video i am showing how to call the custom extension that means if you want to get the some results from external applications you want it to call the api or call directly to the external source systems we'll see how we can call the custom extension click on create assistant click on actions now i am i wanted to call the api whatever the request provided by user i need to get back with the answers through chatbot for that i have to accept any user utterances from user for that i just wanted to take set by assistant no action matches now i wanted to integrate custom extension with this action skill i will show you what exactly i i am looking from the chatbot so here if you go uh i wanted to call this api from the chatbot so once i send request i got this response the same response i would wanted to get it from the chatbot let's see how we can do that so i have changed to that api to the format of json to upload it to the action skill custom extension for that i need to go back to the and select the integrations here we do have all the options to select for integrate with the chatbot now i will select to build custom extension and then click on next simple extension here we have to import open api that i was talking previously about converting api to json format that we can upload here and click on next so here we do see orchestrate query we do have we are passing two request parameters query and the file name and we are getting the result in the format of string and click on finish here we can see simple extension we need to click on add and click on finish
go to the set by assistant no action matches and with conditions here you wanted to provide any user utterances to the chatbot for that uh, we have to uh, make the user utterances and store it in the session variable and pass it to the api request parameters here you go set new value and new session variable we can choose input text and here we can select free text input dot text you can pause assistant say input dot text we can erase this use an extension and then choose an extension is the simple extension here we can say expression is input dot text and then i am passing the file name is savings max here we can see query is the input dot text and the file name is savings underscore max now click on new step in the next step uh, we don't want to pause any conditions and we just want it to display the response for this you can select body dot result and continue to next step you can end the action here let's see preview wanted to ask a chatbot what is the eligibility and savings let's see how the bot will give the response now we can see we got this response from the bot it actually internally calls the api and providing the response it all work done in the background so that that's how in the simple way we can call custom extension and we can integrate our watson assistant action skill with any of the applications our channels our emails and mobile phones what not in the next video i'll explain about the other integrations see you soon then thank you